grade 8 math number 2.1G, the three power rules for exponents. Now hopefully, in all of these 2.1 videos, A through G here, you're taking notes, and they will help you. So I really, really hope you're writing down all these rules that we've been doing. All right, so for a quick review, in this one, the A is the base and the 4 is the exponent. In this one, only the A is the base and the 4 is the exponent. This would mean 2 times A times A times A times A. But when we see the 2 and the A together in parentheses, that means the 2A is the base and is multiplied to each other 4 times. 2A times 2A times 2A times 2A. Or it could be 2 to the 4th power times A to the 4th power. It's the same thing as this, okay? So just remember, when it's not in parentheses, that means only the A is the base. When it is in parentheses, it means together they're the base, all right? So here's power rule number one for any positive integers, M and N. If we've got a base number to M power and it's in parentheses with the N on the outside, we can just multiply these two together, M times N. So in numbers, this is what it would be. If we have 3 to the second power inside of parentheses and then a 4 exponent on the outside, it means 3 to the 2 times 4. And the exponent on the inside gets multiplied to the exponent on the outside of the parentheses and we end up with 3 to the 8th power. See that? So we multiply the exponents. If we have 2 to the negative third inside of parentheses and a little 2 exponent on the outside, that means we've got 2 to the negative 3 times 2. Negative and positive multiplied together make a negative, so we've got 2 to the negative 6. And remember, when we see a negative exponent, you know what that means? It means fraction. So that means we've got 1 over 2 to the 6, and the negative sign comes off when we turn it into the fraction. It means we have 1 over 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, which would be 1 64th. So this rule says, we raise a power to a power by multiplying the exponents. See? 2 to the negative third would be 2 being raised to the power of negative 3. Inside of the parentheses, it means this whole thing is being raised to the second power. See? If we had x to the second power inside of parentheses and a little 5 for an exponent on the outside of the parentheses, it would mean x to the 2 times 5, or x to the 10th, see? If it said to simplify this, x squared to the 5th power like that, we would simplify it like this. It would be x to the 10th power. We simplify it by using the power rule for exponents, okay? We're just multiplying the exponents that are in the inside and the outside of the parentheses. All right, here's power rule number 2. For any positive integer m, if we've got a, b on the inside of the parentheses, that whole thing is the base. That means a to the m power, m power and b to the m power, see? So if we had numbers and a was 2 and b was 4, it would be 2 times 4, because when they're next to each other, it means multiplication, right? So now we've got 2 times 4 to the third power. So we could do 8 to the third power, or we could say 2 to the third power times 4 to the third power. That would work also. Because this is just 8 times 8. This is the 8 to the second power, see? And here would be the third one. So we could also say this whole thing is 2 times 4 to the third power. So 2 times 4 and 2 times 4 and 2 times 4, which would be 8, 8 and 8, or 8 to the third power. See, it's the same thing. It would equal 512 no matter how we did this, right? So we can raise a product to a power. The product of this would be 8, and we could raise that to a power by raising a factor to a power. See? Each of these are the factors of the 8. All right? Here's the third one. For any positive integer m, as long as the denominator isn't a 0, we could have a over b, and they could be in parentheses, so this whole thing is the base, and it's being raised to the m power. See? So we'd have a to the m over, over b to the m. If we use real numbers, if we had 5 over 3 in parentheses to the second power, it would be 5 to the second power over 3 to the second power. 
See? So it says we can raise a quotient to a power. Because remember, fractions are just little division problems. So we can raise a quotient to a power by raising both the numerator and denominator to that power. See? We can use more than one rule to simplify an expression. If it's said to simplify this expression right here, 5x to the third and multiplied to 5x to the fourth, we would use the product rule to get 5x to the seventh power. That's in video 2.1c. And we could use the power rule, the second power rule here, to make it 5 to the seventh times x to the seventh. See? So we ended up using two different rules to simplify an expression. So that is that these are the three power rules for exponents. And if you're not writing these down, I would go back and at least freeze frame each one so you can write down these rules. But you want to write down the rules that we just did in all of 2.1, okay? I usually only have 2.1a and 2.1b, and I very occasionally might have 2.1c, but look at, we went all the way to g this time because we had all these rules, and they should all be written down inside the cover of your spiral or someplace safe that you can go and look back at them quickly to help you simplify things in the future, all right? Just so you have them on hand somewhere, okay? I'll see you next video. Bye.